Here at home, a Hillsborough County judge has benched herself. The judge on the sex battery case involving a USF football player won't be any more on hearings involving the athlete. You may have already heard the strong words she had for the player and the coach. Bay News 9's Kate McVeigh has more. From behind the bench during USF football player Ladarius Jackson's first appearance, Judge Margaret Taylor offered up strong words, not only for the accused 22-year-old, but for his coach. If you are listening, in the last couple of months, there have been two arrests of your players for very violent felonies. This court, and I'm sure I'm not alone, questions whether you have control over your players. Coach Charlie Strong is new to the program, and the recently charged players aren't even his recruits, something fans took note of while sharing their disapproval of Judge Taylor's comments on the Bay News 9 Facebook page. Judges are supposed to be neutral, says one viewer. Emotional editorializing doesn't belong in the courtroom, says another. Or does it? We checked in with Stetson Law Professor Charles Rose, who says it's common for judges to use first appearances as a teaching moment. This was actually relatively tame. The difference is it was on camera and it was a football player. I've, I've heard much more volatile things from the bench. Now we wanted to speak with Judge Taylor ourselves to get some insight as to why she chose that moment to take a stand. But because the case is pending, we're told she's prohibited from making public comment. However, we do have this update for you. This is paperwork the judge filed to recuse herself from any further proceedings in this case. Now, what I will expect will happen is that she won't be involved in any other case uh, that has to do with the USF football player. But if you think about it from the judge's perspective, she's made her point. Not only to the player in question, but to a coach just starting out at the university. I would implore you to think long and hard about whether being head coach at USF is a good fit for you before any other members of this community have to suffer at the hands of one of your players. In Tampa, Kate McVeigh, Bay News 9. Strong words indeed. The judge in this case only handles first appearances, and it's likely she wouldn't have had Ladarius Jackson in her courtroom again. We did reach out to USF in an effort to speak with Coach Strong, and we were told he is out of town. But in a statement released yesterday, he expressed disappointment and said student athletes who did not uphold school values would be held accountable.